Puente. I'm an environmental sustainable development engineer based in Melbourne. As an ESD engineer, we design buildings that cater towards being energy efficient and also provide a place where users' health and well-being is promoted. To do so, we look into the heating, ventilation and air conditioning side, as well as daylighting and artificial lighting of buildings, just to name a few, which would provide a place where users' health and well-being is promoted and a place that they would like to stay in. And as well for the property owner, produce a site where energy consumption is reduced and work towards a more sustainable future. You know, I started off with modelling a lot of our projects, so working towards the thermal performance as well as the energy and daylight performance. And to measure this, we typically look into green star rating as well as well rating. These tools allow you to measure or have benchmarks for the energy efficiency as well as the user's health and well-being. For the University of Melbourne, we worked for the Melbourne School of Design Building in terms of services that included uh, attending workshops with University of Melbourne and other stakeholders, finding out some of the ideas they would like to incorporate into the plan and working them into the plan. Some of the sustainable measures that we see in University of Melbourne that we've worked on would definitely have to be Green Stars community benchmarks and that would mean that the precinct as a whole, the Parkville campus, has targets that they have to meet. My strongest Oricon attribute would definitely have to be fearlessness. Fearlessness to ask questions that others may not. So there's never a stupid question you can ask. Uh, I always put my hand up and say, why can't we do this? Or how can we do it differently? And that allows us to produce unique results in a project and allows clients to see that and come back to us for future projects as well. An environmentally sustainable building in the future hopefully to me looks like one where the community recognises it as one rather than just the people always having to enter that building. So it's a space that attracts users rather than one where people just have to travel to. Also on top of that, it's one that will hopefully produce energy and store energy rather than one that constantly consumes it which we see currently in our present day. So that's what I'd like to see in the future. My experience as a graduate so far at Oricon has been great and one of the key areas that stick out to me is definitely the communication and the people. Everyone's really willing to help you out when you have a question. You can walk up to anyone and ask them that question and they'll always set aside some time for you. Curiosity to ask the why not question is really popular here. You walk into any meeting and there'll be at least one or two people that put up their hand and say, but why not? Why can't we do this? Why can't we include that or why can't we design it differently? And that's what sets us apart from other companies and that's what makes it fun to work here.